Hello all, this video is about uh, SSRS branding file editor tool which is available in Codeplex. This video will give a overall idea of on how to use this tool. So what is SSRS branding? So SSRS branding can be used to customize the appearance of the SSRS report manager in SQL Server 2016. There is a separate video available with uh, more details on branding in this channel. Um, if you want to know more about branding, please refer to that video. So basically this branding is being done by um, editing or creating these three files below. Uh, one is metadata XML and second is colors.json and third one is logo file which needs to display the logo on the left top of the uh, report manager. This is an optional file but there is no easy way to create or uh, edit this brand files. Uh, it has to be done manually by uh, opening the file and uh, putting the relevant hex code into it. So this tool, SSRS branding file editor tool will make that work easy. So this is uh, basically a Excel based macro tool and uh, in which you should be able to change the four color of the cell from where this hex code will be automatically generated and this all the three files relevant files will be uh, created or copied accordingly so this tool can be downloaded from this uh, uh, site srs branding file editor dot codeplex dot com so now let us take a look into a quick demo on uh, how to use this tool basically we'll take a look on you know how to create a new branding files and then how to edit the existing branding files as well so once you download the file from the codeplex this is what you will see um, and uh, this uh, as i mentioned earlier this is an uh, excel based uh, uh, macro tool um, so to get started in creating a new branding file um, all we need to do is provide a branding name it can be any name we, we can let us provide it as a name as new branding and um, colors file also can be any name um, let's say it's new branding here and uh, logo file we can uh, you need to select it by using the select logo logo button only um, let's choose one uh, logo sql server logo from here and we need to choose a destination path uh, where uh, this uh, output files needs to be generated let's choose this new branding folder so that's our uh, first step of uh, creating the files now if you notice you are having all this uh, colors which is a uh, standard default colors being used in the report manager once it is installed um, if you notice here you could see this uh, color of this button and all this is what the default colors shows there um, just in case if you want to bring the default colors back you can click on this default colors so it will populate the default colors here so now let us try to alter few colors here and uh, for example the neutral prim primary is the background color of the um, of the report manager let us change it to a yeah, purple color here and then um, neutral secondary also let us try to put it as an yellow just so for demo purpose i'm trying to make it bright colors but we can uh, use uh, uh, the corporate theme colors over here so with this we can change all this uh, um, items um, colors whatever is required using that cell for color itself to generate the files you need to say generate branding files so now you could see that these files are generated successfully let's go and take a look on the files here and as you notice all the three required files for this uh, branding has been uh, generated here all we need to do is we need to zip this file 
and you can give any name but let me name it with the same name like the branding itself branding let's go to the SSRS site site settings and branding let's upload the newly created branding files here so now if you as you see this uh, logo has been added and the purple color whatever you have added as a primary um, it is coming here and uh, if you if you take a look these colors are changing based on the yellow whatever we have given so this is how you can create a, a new um, branding so now as a second step let us see how to edit the existing branding file so let us try to download the whatever branding we have um, uh, uploaded so once you click download you could get that uploaded uh, uh, branding file the same zip file we have got here let's go here and uh, bring this back to so edit branding and extract all the files here extract so once you have extracted the file you can import that file into the um, into the tool so for showing a demo of import uh, first I will choose some other uh, existing branding which is a Xbox uh, brand file so we, what you need to do is once you go to the folder in which all these files are available choose the respective JSON file so once you choose the respective JSON file it would import all the colors from that uh, um, JSON file and it would bring the file name logo file name and uh, the JSON file name everything in it will get populated so we can edit that so now let us try to import the downloaded uh, uh, files so you need to choose the JSON file as I mentioned so if you choose the JSON file it will import back all the colors whatever uh, you have uh, uh, you have uh, modified you could see that you know this uh, um, purple and yellow color whatever you uploaded already persist so now let us try to edit this uh, colors a bit uh, for now for our testing purpose let me change this kpa bad color to kind of brown and uh, this purple color we can edit it to uh, some blue and uh, okay, we don't as I was mentioning earlier this logo file was, is an optional file so let's remove this and say generate branding now if as you are having this uh, uh, file already in place in the uh, uh, in this folder so it is asking for a overwrite either if you want you can overwrite if not you can say no and then uh, select a yeah, different folder so for our demo purpose let us choose a different folder um, let's say I'll put it here in the download branding and uh, say generate branding file okay so now if you go back to this download branding you'll see only these two files here because we have removed the um, image file so now let's zip this and we can give any name that's fine I'll say new branding edit 
So now you can upload that uh, new branding edit here and see the effect. So now as you notice this logo is gone and uh, this color has got changed to blue and uh, let us take a look on this KPI colors has got changed into brown. So with this tool uh, I hope it will be very helpful to edit the files in an easy way and then uh, um, and do the branding for the SSRS report. Here in the how to sheet uh, it has uh, the information on what needs to be done for uh, creating a new branding file and uh, edit existing branding file as well for your reference. So that is what all about the tool and uh, please download this tool and uh, try using it and uh, please post the feedback in the CodePlex site and if you have found any issues, bugs, please report it so that it will help to um, stabilize the tool and uh, so that everybody can use it. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. I'll meet you all soon uh, in my next video. Thank you.